All right, hey, Josh out of Columbus, out here, Erie County, Ohio. And uh, let's talk about this one. Here's the backdrop on this one. It's the early stages, guys, are getting after today. A little chilly out here, but uh, 40 by 64. This building actually is going to be part living area, half the section of it is. And then it's going to be part garage, as you probably can see here as well. And uh, you can see there's going to be uh, open porch and also an enclosed porch on this. So this has some moving parts to it. And uh, Jim, our estimator, uh, really took the time with the customer here to get him what he wanted here. But you can see here, as we walk, let's just take a look at a few details. And then we'll update this project as time progresses. But you can see right here, here's actually, this is gonna be the garage portion here. Now this gentleman, we talked about perma columns before, but this actually gives you a good idea what a perma column looks like. Um, and why would you use a perma column versus, let's say a traditional footer? Obviously, the biggest reason that would be, would be uh, cost. The perma column, um, obviously a lot less than a concrete footer. And then we get this asked a lot, what's the difference between the cost differential between a perma column and let's say a regular six by six or like a three ply? And typically, um, 80 to 100 bucks. So again, th this is Ohio, all right? So that kind of gives you an idea from a cost differential, what you're looking at. But to give you an idea here, you can see here, this is a perma column with a three ply. You can see how that's bracketed in. All right, so you really do have what I call a very straight, true uh, setup here. Now with the six by six post, or even four by six if you're building a smaller structure, you're gonna have that twist effect, natural lumber or, or wood for that example um, will twist. When you have this right here, this is gonna be very straight, very straight. And that's, uh, um, you know, what you want from, from a building. There'll be no racking, no swaying or anything like that. So you can see as I pan here, and that's actually gonna be, as we go over here, see, that's actually gonna be an enclosed porch, that section right there. All right, so you can see the guys are building out the, uh, the beam here for the garage and so forth. But that kind of gives you an idea uh, for the perma columns and different cost structures as far as when you're setting your foundation. But this portion right here, as I pan in here, this is gonna be the garage section and this is gonna be a quasi uh, living area. So, so we can design that, we can set it up for you. Give one of our project consultants uh, a call and we can, we can uh, walk that through with you. So more information, keep following the journey on the Pole Barn build series. Give us a call, 419-426-3451 or you can visit us at a